Hello, topic seven, ambitions. Okay, so we have three pictures of very ambitious people. And what type of person goes after these challenges? Okay, well, this one, if you can make out this picture, it's a rock climber. There's a sheer cliff. And um, the person is climbing up a steep cliff. This person must be definitely courageous, maybe a little bit adventurous or very adventurous. Um, not, not afraid of heights. And um, this one, probably similar character, uh, loves a challenge, probably disciplined, has to really calculate how much breath this free diver needs to uh, to last uh, going down then going up and yes uh, free diving means uh, diving without the tanks air tanks and you have to hold your breath and then see how far you can go down though these people like breaking records and this is um, these are dog sleds. Uh, it's actually, this is called mushing, and there's an expedition to the Antarctic or Arctic, and they are uh, very adventurous, tough. Um, they probably have a lot of endurance. Uh, not only the dogs, but the people um, leading the dogs. So also it must be courageous. Um, so loving uh, challenges. So these are uh, testing your limits uh, of endurance, of um, probably physical endurance as well as mental. Uh, this would be definitely mental endurance and this would be definitely also mental as well as physical endurance. Right, so ambitions. Um, Okay, challenge, success, ambition, motivation, failure, these are all words connected to the topic. So the film Bohemian Rhapsody was an overnight what? It was an overnight failure, no, it was very popular. So it was a box office hit, so it was a success. I have a burning to travel to New Zealand. Sometimes we hear burning desire or a burning ambition. Do you think rewards increase student, student motivation? I think it can help, but then students expect it and they will say, what will you give me now that I did this? Anyway, unfortunately, my attempts to learn Chinese met with complete and utter failure. Brazilian firefighters face the formidable or daunting task, sometimes we say, or challenge of putting out raging forest fires. Okay, so let's do more on ambitions. So, to fulfill or realize an what? One of these words. Okay, to realize an ambition. Achieve, to enjoy, of course, success, to take up, to start, to take up or rise to a challenge and end or result in failure, improve or lack motivation. Okay, so these are phrases, collocations, words, words that go together. Spelling. So which is the, I don't know. Now this is, uh, spelling is not such an issue nowadays. If you have a computer, then it will automatically underline it in red. So we can see the mistakes already. So this is not a presentation. I haven't uh, played the presentation so we can actually see the mistakes. So uh, publicly is just C-L-Y. Optimistically, scientifically, dramatically, all have double L-Ys. Separate, desperate, immediate, but definite. Definite ITE here is a mistake. Embarrassment has double R double S. Accommodation, long word, double C double M. Business 
and committee. Do you know the mistake here? It is only one S. Okay. So believe, receive, sees, receipt, weird, weird spelling. Okay, so underlined here, we see receive, receive is mistake. So as a kid, I learned I before E except after C. It's not always true, but usually after C, we have it the other around, like in receipt. I before E except after C. Occasion, account, necessity, accident. Necessity is a mistake because it only has one C, necessity. Okay, so let's finish off here. So here are some words of, or collocations we're going to learn. Um, desperately disappointed, utterly exhausted, academically successful, unnecessarily aggressive, highly influential. So we will learn these. So you're going to test your spelling. And memorable occasion, unconscious decision. Mysterious disappearance, frequent occurrence, and fiercely independent. Okay, so see if you can learn those. And the last questions we will do. So think of an answer here. How necessary is it to have goals, dreams, or ambitions? I think it's vital for developing your character, being motivated to have goals. I think it's great to dream. Uh, when you fulfill a dream, it's, it gives you a lot of um, happiness. And I think without dreams or goals or ambitions, people can be very lazy, unmotivated, and even depressed. So what ones have you achieved? Well, many, but uh, over the summer, we had a major goal of renovating uh, windows. I'll give you a look. Look behind me. There, ta -da, nice new windows. It all works, yes. So anyway, that was a goal we had. It's a big job. Back to the question. Have you ever failed to reach a goal? Yes, I have. So um, I think morning workouts, I had a goal of doing one every day. I missed a few days and it's hard to get back into it. What do you think of the English proverb? If you don't succeed, try, try again. I think it's a good saying. I think... Um, we should always uh, persevere, bitterbat, persevere, and um, but there are times when we probably have to think about if this is my talent, then not to kill myself over something I'm not good at anyway, or I never will be. But in general, I think it's a good saying. So uh, this is getting a bit long, but um, we'll finish off with this. So there's a remote possibility of getting um, getting a grant for studying um, a foreign language a remote very slight distinct is the opposite they stand an outside chance of succeeding in winning the competition you can increase motivation by having a goal, for example. You can meet with success when you have clear expectations, clear goals, and, and a good plan. For me, a major challenge is to do my workouts every morning okay so that's it